Well, hello again. I'm Josephus A. Carver, and I'm taking a time out. Just rolled into camp, made a little fire. Today I'm testing out my Esbit pocket stove, which is billed as a popular survival item. It only costs around $10 most retail outlets, and uh, with all the tech stoves out there, this thing looked to me pretty simple. Pretty nice little thing to have. We got our weatherproof little chemical cubes that are also espit to come with it. Now the instructions tell us that this stove with one cube will burn 13 minutes depending on the wind and will boil eight ounces of water in about eight minutes. Now we do not have anything to measure water with but we did find as we do even in some of the most remote wilderness areas that we go to is that there are artifacts left behind by our previous visitors that we can use. Often they're in good condition, they're fairly recent. Here we have found a 16 ounce aluminum bottle with a lid that's got obviously many, many functions, primarily carrying and boiling water. So we're gonna see if we can boil double the amount of water that this stove says it can do, see how long it takes us and see how many of these fuel cubes 13 minutes supposedly that we got. So I got my 16 ounces of water right here. Mine is half a drop. I'm going to try to vent this can so I can cap it back up and lay it across the stove because if it burns tall it's going to take me a lot of time and fuel to get my water boiling. So give me my non-exploding vent there and I uh, probably lost an ounce there. Sorry folks. If we can get our cap on here so we don't lose any of those 16 ounces that we got. Got above. I got my cube a little bit wet there, which is good because we're going to see how they start wet. So we're going to go ahead and get our little Esbit chemical cube going. These things are a little tough to light, especially since to light anything you want it to be above the source of heat, seeing as the heat's going to rise. Now it's a little hard to light when you got to reach in and try to light something from the top like this and you got, I'm going to maybe have to try something else here if I can't get this bad boy going. And it looks like it's taking our flame finally there. All right, so there we go. Cube's got a nice flame all around it. I got my vented cane right here. I'm just going to lay across the top, try to maximize the surface that I'm actually exposing to the flame there. And uh, I'm hoping it's going to work just like a tea kettle there for me. I don't think it's going to whistle when she steams, but I think I'm going to notice. So hopefully I'm going to have a way to know them bubbles are going. So I got my flame on. I just got my, my pot of water on. And... Uh, to be ultra scientific about it, I'm going to take my pan here that I always got, my little pad. I'm going to take the time. I got a good flame going, got my water on, and it is 4.36 in the p.m. So we're just going to keep an eye on this here for a minute. And I have let my cube burn out there right on it just burn out on me so it's 4 43 started the thing right around 4 35 so i got less than 10 minutes out of it you know it's a little breezier for what they're anticipating now see if i can get another one going here see how safely i can do this uh-huh a real good idea here uh, these things are there we go, it's going again. All right, that's cube number two. These things are not quite as easy to light as they advertise. So we got a full rolling boil of a pound of, uh, pint of water. So we got a full rolling boil and a pint of water in just around 10, 15 minutes with the cheapest, lightest, smallest stove that I've seen on the market with a found supply that I'm thinking I'm going to figure out a way to make this thing into a steam engine or pressure cooker. Maybe have me some rabbit loin meat tonight here in my camp. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty badass. 
outdoors.